when I was a kid, I loved going to the zoo. I loved watching animals move. Mechanical engineering gave me these ways to really make sense of what I saw. When people see birds fly, they just see the wings, but I see all the fluid motions, these invisible vortices and these patterns. My name is David Hu, and I'm a mechanical engineer and a biologist at Georgia Tech. My book is called How to Walk on Water and Climb Up Walls. It's about scientists and their journey to film animals and build robots based on what they see. For years, robots have basically been contained in factory floors. They've been basically stationary robots with long, rigid arms used for picking up heavy things. The last 20 years, people have been trying to move robots outside of factories and into the real world. The big issue is the real world involves very different kind of terrain. Building things that can survive and even move quickly in these kind of environments requires a really fresh approach. Snakes are interesting to people because they're really good at getting into nooks and crannies and crawling on terrain where legs won't go. A snake robot can also go into small holes. You can basically go into rocks and look for people. Let's say you have people at the bottom of a building, then you can send a snake robot, just like this snake, under the building and they can look for people. Under the building? Yeah, under a building. Bioinspiration is this idea of looking at animals and getting new ideas for how to make mechanical devices. For years, most of our devices have been hard, stiff, and rigid. What good is that elephant trunk? What does it do really well? It can move. Look at how good it is at grabbing that hay from the top of the surface there. It's even taller than the elephant. If you take an apple and you grab it with a hammer or, an, or a screwdriver, what's going to happen? If it's grab going it? to drop. Yeah, it's going to break. So you need something really gentle, like the tip of the trunk. There's a lot of interest in the elephant trunk because it's so flexible. It's so versatile. And the elephant trunk is one of the few devices out there that can actually handle such small implements. Do you know how many muscles that trunk has? 40,000 different muscles just in the trunk. How many do we have? We have only 200 muscles in our whole body. Now we actually have these 3D printing technologies and these textile technologies to actually make structures very similar to these animals and combine them with movement and to get basically new kinds of efficiency. We're actually surrounded by the secret language of animal motion, and a lot of it's in your pet animals, your cats and your dogs and your goldfish.